We know four people were shot and then two of those folks uh, were injured. We do have more information from Jamie Weiss who is live at the scene and the story a little confusing, Jamie. Yeah, that's right. We actually just spoke with police, Dawn, to try and clarify exactly what happened. Let me show you the scene here. 32nd between Greenwood Avenue and Kentucky. A lot of police still out here trying to figure out what happened. What we do know right now, four people were shot, as you mentioned. Two are dead. Their bodies are actually still out here as police work this scene. A third was taken from 32nd Street to the hospital. Police tell us that person has life-threatening injuries. The fourth person who was shot was shot here at 32nd, according to police, and drove over to 26 and Elliott, where you said David Williams is. As you can see, people are very emotional. This is a very tough scene right here. Jamie Weiss was on the scene, and for some reason, live fire set off. Our Jamie Weiss had to hit the ground. James Thomas, who was a photographer, this is what happened. This is actually when shots were live. You can listen. This is the chaos. You can hear some people hollering, yelling. Our Jamie Weiss actually on the ground. Our photographer shooting this is James Thomas. This is a very dangerous situation for our people to be in, but at this particular time, they couldn't leave. Let's go right to Jamie Weiss, who actually had to hit the ground. Jamie, I understand you had to hit the ground because there was live fire. That's right, Don. Uh, my photographer, James, James Thomas, and I tried to get in the back of our live vehicle as quickly as we could. We were just on the air with you a few minutes ago, uh, and we showed you at that time a very emotional, quite a few people uh, crying and worked up. As soon as we went off the air, there was some screaming, some interaction between the large crowds that are out here. And the next thing we knew, there were shots fired. Like you said, we heard at least 10 shots go off. Police started running. Not sure if there was anybody actually hit. We do know that police called for a paramedic. Uh, from where we are right now, we can see uh, they are working with one woman. Not sure if she was hit or maybe from the stress of the situation. Everybody here on this end of South 32nd near Greenwood Avenue is down on the ground. Police are looking for the person who fired that shot. Very dangerous situation, very scary situation out here. Emotions are running high and Police already have two men dead, one in the hospital with serious injuries and another in the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. So they are dealing with a lot right here on 32nd Street. We are getting out of the way. We are getting out of the area because it's not safe for us to be there, but we will bring you more when we know it, Don. Jamie Weiss has just talked with Metro Police Chief Steve Conrad. And Jamie, what do you know about what happened this afternoon? Uh, now, right now, police are telling us there are three people dead and three people in here. This is a very complicated story, so we'll start from the beginning here on South 32nd Street about one o'clock. That's where it all started. There were two men who were shot in a home on the thousand block of South 32nd Street. A third man was shot, taken to the hospital from 32nd Street with life-threatening injuries. A fourth man was shot here at 32nd Street, but drove over to 26th and Elliott, where police took him to the hospital, and they say he have not, has non-life-threatening injuries. Now, police were out on South 32nd Street for at least an hour investigating the scene. They kept pushing us back. They were noticing cagings on the ground, trying to figure out what started that initial shooting. The next thing we know, there were more shots being fired. We were actually in the middle of it. We had just finished our live shot when I heard the pop go off, and I jumped in the back of our live truck. It all started, and police confirmed this. We saw this with our own eyes. Uh, a woman showed up to the scene here. From what we understand, we just spoke with a friend of hers. Her, uh, the father of her child, his name is Tyson, he is one of the people who was shot and killed. She showed up to the scene here. She wanted to be near Tyson, and that's when she started to get into a yelling match with another woman who was out here on the scene. That argument turned into the shooting that we were in the middle of. Now, one of those women is dead. Her body is still out here on South 32nd, and the other was taken to the hospital. 
police are not sure of their conditions at this point. So we have three people dead and three people shot. They don't know what started the argument between the women. They're still trying to figure that out. They also don't know what started this initial shooting and who may have been responsible for that. Police are trying to piece that all together right now. All kinds of chaos here between 1 and 2.30 this afternoon in the west end of Louisville. And our Jamie Weiss was actually there for that second shooting at 2.30. As you're trying to get your report ready on what's happened at 1 o'clock, you were so close to that gunfire between these two females. Yeah, not only us, Scott, but all the people that were in this neighborhood, they were in the middle of it too. We got here not long after 1 o'clock after the initial shooting was called out. We're gathering some information. We had just done a live report on the air when all chaos broke out in the middle of the crowd. It started as an upset woman who family says saw the body of her loved one dead on the ground. Over to 26 and Elliott where we saw her while we were live on the air. The next thing we know there was arguing and shots fired. Photographer James Thomas and I took cover in the back of our live truck and watched like everyone else who was taking cover on the ground. We now know, according to police, one of the women involved in that argument shot and killed the one she was fighting with. Police say they then shot the shooter who was taken to the hospital. Now, friends and family of those two women involved tell us that uh, both of them actually knew or somehow related to the two men who actually died in that initial shooting. We, at the minute we heard the gunshots, we jumped inside the live truck. Uh, that's where we were shooting our video from. A very scary moments, not only for us, but that entire crowd that was out there. You saw them lying on the ground trying to stay out of the way. Yeah, and we're glad you're safe and that everyone in that area was not hit by gunfire because not only only was the woman shot, but then when police opened fire on the shooter, there were a lot of shots fired. Yeah, I heard at least 10 and they were going off really quick. By the time we realized what was going on, we jumped in the truck. I think the last shot was going off, so everybody was very much exposed during that shooting.